think it's very important to get involved and you're never too too young or too early to get involved and getting involved with local medical government or hospital politics or your specialty politics or whatever it doesn't matter just getting involved I had lots of challenges in my early life and my late life, but um, I think that thinking about my patients and my family, and back then medicine was different than it is today. We weren't bound by a 12-minute patient rule. Um, I used to know everything about my patients. I knew all of their details. I knew their families. Uh, I would meet their families because we allowed more than one person in the room. Um, sometimes there was no room for me. There were so many kids in the room. And um, I would get invited. My wife and I would be invited to their parties, to their uh, uh, whatever church functions and frequently we went i mean we were we were all close and it was very very important to me back in two in june 2009 when we had the NACMED news my last monthly article presidents wrote an article each month was, in, was sort of like a Johnny Carson 10 point item. And the main point was our healthcare system is broken and we have no substantial replacement. And the second point was private insurers are running rough shards over patients, doctors and hospitals. And I think that still goes on. Um, the JAMA just, I think today or recently, came out with an article that one in five physicians are about to retire because the uh, incredible punishment that the pandemic has given them. And, and by the way, Florida doctors are different than New York doctors. They never have appointments. They never have an opening for an emergency appointment like most of us did and I hope still do in New York. Uh, the answer was always go to the emergency room and uh, today that is in Florida and they start I used to start in my office at seven o'clock so that the people who had to get to New York by eight o'clock you know could make it um, today it's not uncommon for Florida doctors to start at 10 o'clock at after four you can't find a doctor's office open I don't, at least anywhere in South Florida. I'm sure there are exceptions. I personally haven't seen them though. And I find that amazing. And they think they're very busy, by the way. Well, my life in general was, my main accomplishment is being a doctor. Uh, I have two accomplishments that I did as, as a doctor. Number one is I invented phototherapy, the phosphor for the light which is used for neonatal jaundice and that is now in every hospital in the world. It's a standard, it's routine and back in my day it was unheard of. We used to do exchange transfusions which was a real big deal and my other thing that I'm really proud of is formation of the Surgeon's Lodge of the New York State Fraternal Order of Police. It's a great organization. We started actually, I took over from another doctor who had 12 ENT people in it. We now have over 500, or almost 500 members. Uh, we've expanded to um, professional business people, as well as physicians and all medical ancillary people. We do incredible things. We, uh, we've given over $2 million to charity, various charities, police charities, as well as community charities. And um, 
We just do great things, and it makes me very proud to be associated with them today.